in this video, I'd like to share one of the ways in which I mastered Chinese. And that was by focusing on etymology. Etymology is a study of the origins of a language. In terms of Chinese, it means studying the, the construction of a word. So Chinese words are made up of, of linear, um, what to call it, linear design. You know, like you have a bunch of lines connected to each other that are formed in a meaningful way. They're not arbitrary. They're formed in a meaningful way and they represent something specific. And there are lots of books. I don't know if I should, know if I should say there are lots of books. Maybe there are. I don't know if there are in English. Maybe there would be in, in Chinese, but there are quite a few books that you can find on Chinese etymology. Uh, you know, like if you check the Chinatown in your neck of the woods, or if you go online on Amazon, you should be able to find some books. Um, yeah, you should be able to find some books. And, um, gosh, I'm trying to, oh, uh, let me see if I could recommend one. Um, What's in a Chinese character? I think that's what it's called. Let me see if it's on Amazon. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What's in a Chinese character? Let's see if that's on Amazon. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, one of the books that I would recommend is called What's in a Chinese Character? by Tan Huai Peng. It is available on Amazon, as far as I could see, I think. I think it is. Let me click on this and see if it's viable. Yes, it is, at least right now, as of the making of this video. It's called What's in a Chinese Character. I think that's a great introduction. That book would be a great introduction to the etymology. It doesn't have every single character in there, but has enough that you would, I think you would find it useful and interesting. Again, what's in a Chinese character on Amazon? Focusing on etymology helps with recognizing words a lot more easily. So that helps with reading skills. But it also helps with writing as well, because, um, you know, the writing is definitely hands down the hardest part of the language to learn the hardest aspect of the language to learn. But when you can make sense of the script and know what you're writing, it makes it easier to memorize. So for example, if I knew that the word for life combines water with a tongue coming out of a mouth, I will always remember that life is water combined with a tongue coming out of a mouth. I won't have to make up some story some abstract story so that the character makes sense so that I can remember it, okay? The other thing that helps with writing, though, apart from the etymology, is understanding the stroke sequence. Not just understanding the stroke sequence, I shouldn't say that, but memorizing the stroke sequence. Because every character has a particular sequence that you're supposed to follow to write it correctly. If you follow that sequence, it will help you with memorization. If you just do it in any old way, it does not help the circuitry in your neurology that helps with memorization. It's when you constantly repeat the same pattern of doing a particular word and writing it over and over on a piece of paper um, that your brain develops the circuitry that you need to, uh, it's almost like you know, digging a groove in a, in a, a path that is like a deep groove uh, along a pathway you know what I mean like a, a a deep groove along a pathway so that you know your memory helps you and gosh I'm not saying this in the right way maybe because it's the wee hours of the morning but you know when you constantly write the a, a particular word over and over and over following the correct sequence for writing that particular word you will actually remember it a lot more easily than if you write that word any old how, however you want to write it in any old arbitrary way. 
if you do that you will not remember it that's that's just how it works you know um so having a particular sequence may sound tedious but that is the very thing that will help you that's kind of an aside but anyway back to the etymology studying the etymology teaching the etymology has been one of the things that has really really helped me to master chinese it's the thing that has really helped me to master Chinese. So, yeah, that's it. I hope this was helpful. And um, that's it. That's it. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions. I would be happy to answer them. And that's it. Okie dokie. Bye.